you're new. I'd like to know. We're going to go back to the basics. And my paper even has stuff on it. Let's not worry about that. My watercolors, oh, <laughs> are falling because I travel with them. See, they go everywhere. I don't even know if these are in order. And I hazard to guess they're probably not because they've, eh, I think this one goes here. Okay. So I grabbed this set that is needing a good cleaning. Oh, and I ordered a water bottle. Look at this. I have a real plant water bottle. I don't know if I like it, but we're going to use it. Oh, <laughs> oops. Sorry, don't swear. Oh, I do like it. Look at how nice that is. Now it's going all over the place, but that's okay. Um, hi, Edwin. Thank you. Welcome. Grab your, um, these are, I grabbed four basic supplies, painter's tape, watercolors, fine and ultra fine. Now I happen to cheat. I love a good set. I love that set. So I'm going to wet down the watercolors. All right. Coolio. Okay. There we go. And this is supposed to be nice and clean, but when you're me, not nice and clean. I like to welcome, welcome, welcome. I guess we're going to keep this water bottle. So I'm going to throw that away. I don't think I need that. Oops, it fell on the floor. All right. Now make sure your painter's tape is nice and adhered. I don't care if it gets underneath. You want to get those watercolors all pumped and primed and ready to go. And then I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a little bit of a wet on wet situation, which is wetting the surface and then wetting um, my paints, which I already did. Oh, okay. Those are going everywhere. So we're just going to relax. Take a deep breath. Maybe you've got an intention. Maybe you're thinking about somebody. Um, you know, so let's slow it down. Okay. I'm wetting my paper. That's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. I don't know how good that works, but it looks like I ponded it up in areas versus, all right, grab our water. I painted last night before I went to bed. It felt so good. So we're, oh, this, this brush is not good. Use a brush that's worth using Tracy Ann and then talk to yourself while you're doing it. All right. Make sure these stay nice and good and wet. And we're just going to, um, again, I'm using a current, the current set. So this is going to be kind of relatively monochromatic, monochromatic because I'm using all blues, <laughs> maybe some green in there. All right. And let's just start dropping watercolors in here and see what it does. And see wet, you can't steer where the, where the water is going. We're going to kind of make it look like a flower. And are we going to have green flowers, blue flowers? Oh, that's nice and juicy. Okay, good. Yes. Mm. Bah, I love that color. I love the colors. Don't you? I do. I do. I do. All right. Hmm. I don't know what color this is, so because my color palette is so jacked up, I don't know. And the paints are probably out of order, but that's okay. So we don't know. What do you think? Now, if you even want to be wild, you could spray it again and let them go and let them go. Ooh, I like a good. All right. We seem to have a middle, a beginning, and then who's painting with me? Who's deciding to get very, now um, I kind of want to do like a green background and I'll just do a little bit. Like I don't want a ton. Maybe just play around a little bit. Now keep in mind, I can't control where the water goes, but that's half the fun. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get it. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. You know. If you get too much water or things start moving around. I love that dark blue too. Things start moving around too much or you notice there's just too much ponding. Just dry off your brush with a towel. Dry it off. And then like, you know, I always notice it kind of crinkles over here. Don't worry about it. Just pull that green back in there. You can pull the center of that one back in there. But I do. I love this color. Um, 
Okay. You know, I don't need to control where everything goes. I just like it to move. That's all. But I don't want this to take 10 hours to dry. We're not in there. I got to go to Rubio's and pick up food for myself. I'm dying for a particular salad. And I didn't eat very much today. So, and I don't cook. So there's just a comedy of errors here. All right. Are you good with that? Dry it out. You decide it's too dark, decide it's too light. Mm, whoops. I don't know why I'm feeling the need. Leave that white stuff there and just leave it alone. Okay, so we're done. Done. Sometimes I like, oh, my lid doesn't even, oh, my lid doesn't even fit on this, right? I usually leave these open, by the way, just to let them dry out. <coughs> so we'll just leave them over here. So who grabbed uh, some painting and is just painting with me? Now I want this to dry. Ideally, that would be nice. As simple as that. Oh, I have other news while this is drying. Um, I have other news. I'll use a heat gun. Here's my other news. In other news, I am finalizing the design of four new stamp sets. And through my um, stamp company that I work with, we have been uh, Zooming and FaceTiming and four sets. We kind of thought we'd release two sets. Now we're at four. Uh, and that's just for the beginning. I know. So a uh, heat gun, optional. You can use a hair dryer. Or you could be patient and let it dry. Mm -mm. I don't really have that. Thank you very much, uh, you guys. I, um, it has, uh, we, we actually, one of the stamp sets happened by accident the other day while we were on the phone and I was late uh, to picking up my daughter from the airport because we were in the middle of the brainstorm session. So I love that I work with companies. Um, here's the thing about me and everybody loves, I know Procreate and all of that good stuff. I know it. Uh, I use that stuff, but I personally am the kind of person, I'll show you. I am the kind of person who likes to draw my stamps and have them be really from my drawings. They're, they're not like, I can get on Procreate, turn the tip, blah, 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 blah. I'm not really, that's not my thing. So I have a, this is, this is my process. Ready? All of these drawing, oh, I don't know if you can see these. I really, I'm not allowed to show the stamp set. So, but these all are drawings that will end up, that end up being stamp sets. So I do individual drawings and then I pull them apart. So um, maybe that's a little bit different. Maybe that's what everybody does. But instead of me being at all digital, I like it to be actually things. And most of them I draw on airplanes. <laughs> now, I always say to people, take a photo where you're at right now with your drawing. Okay? It's not a drawing. You just painted a drawing, I guess. Take a picture where it's at now and then see where it takes you. Okay. So this is half the fun of these little sketches that we do together, especially these are quick demos. Um, I have a membership group called Your Artful Journey where we deep dive into techniques. I don't know if this pen works. I'm going to try it. Um, so I feel uh, very good about, uh, you know, like, just seeing what I see here and trying to turn it into some. doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, Sherry, will you be able to get them from Amazon uh, due to the fact that I'm in Canada? That would be a question for the stamp company, which we'll easily ask. And I do ship to Canada as well. They're very flat. Um, they're very, they're very uh, flat and they're usually um, relatively inexpensive to send if need be. So just contact me as long as you don't order anything else and I don't have to like stuff a, a bear in the inside of it. Do you even do the words yourself or do you do those in Procreate? Uh, both. 
Yeah, both. That is a. Uh, I don't. I don't like. I don't like my handwriting tons. I mean, I don't know what that means. I don't mind it. All right, I'm going to use the ultra fine part of this. I'm going to kind of show that you, as long as there's ink in this, that yes, you can go to Home Depot, grab a couple of Sharpie pens, and you can start creating. I'm lucky that I work with a company that will. Um, that wants me to do some like stuff that's true to me and what I do, but a lot of other companies that I don't know because I haven't worked with them. Okay. There you go. There's a center of a flower and well, we gotta just, just go around. Okay. Find it. Okay. And then this little, uh, how, where are the leaves? Where are the leaves? Where are the children? And I know somebody's going to ask me, what's the name of that salad you like? It's like the California salad. Do you guys have Rubio's? I don't know. Maybe that's a California only thing. Um, what is this guy going to be? It's kind of a mess. It's kind of a mess. So let's agree with the mess. Let's agree with the mess. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I think I'm just going to, yeah, yeah. And see, they're over and under and over and under. So you never know, you know, where does it begin? Where does it start? Oh, I don't know where that begins and where that starts. Oh, it's supposed to go like that. That's okay. Um, by the way, I had a giant list of stuff for the stamps that I was really working off of. And it was really cool. And if you order, by the way, anything that you order, I am shipping right away. Even when I'm gone, I should be able to ship stuff. I've, I've got uh, help. I got elves. That's what my, I got elves. Thank you, Patricia. I appreciate that. So, okay, what are you finding in your drawings? Now, are you getting so wrapped up that you're wondering why this one over here? Don't. Okay, we're not, we're not there yet. We don't need to do that. All right. So now we're going to go back and make another line and just kind of follow the lines and see where it takes us. We're not overlapping the lines. We're just, uh, oh, now this guy, like, there's kind of a, this is an oddball. This guy is weird over here. Oh, you know what? I decided to encase that in there. Okay. Yes, this is, you know how people read um, tea leaves? I read paint leaves. <laughs> and it will start to form something. At least we hope we do. I always love when people tell me, I can't draw a stick figure. And I'm kind of like, I can't remember the last time I wanted to draw a stick figure. I mean... Was it, is it ever that handy to have that skill set? I don't know. I don't need it. Um, I kind of feel like there's some sort of like leaf going through here, which is why that's cut off. So let's go ahead and put a leaf. Don't draw stick figures. You guys, none of these little dreams uh, of little miss small business. And I always say, people always ask, are you a mom in a pop shop? And I'm like, no, I'm a mom shop. I'm just a mom shop. Is it blurry? I don't think it is, Cecilia. Can somebody answer that question? Because I'm looking at it. And I don't feel it's blurry, but let's do this. Let me zone in a little bit because it'll automatically focus again. No. Okay. I know, Cecilia. So, okay, it's fine here. Okay. If it's fine in um, Illinois, it's fine where you're at, Cecilia. <laughs> no. Okay. Thank you, guys. 
I don't feel good to leave today because uh, I haven't left the house. <laughs> oh, good, you guys. Now, how many of you are just like, uh, I'm afraid to draw on my, it's just a piece of paper. Scribble, scribble. And I'm just scraping. I'm just scraping. It might be the fact that I'm drawing blurry. How about that? Kind of uh, not even holding my pen. I'm just relaxed. And we're just scribbling. See, I'm just scribbling. I don't know. This just feels good. It feels good after a long day. <laughs> so, Cecilia, so, so, yeah, I wanted to make a joke. I do know her. I met her in person, and I didn't want somebody who's first time listening saying, boy, she's not very nice to people. Um, so thank you for laughing. She said it wouldn't be the first time it was blurry. <laughs> if you're anything like me, Cecilia, if my glasses aren't nearby, we got an issue. But you made me, you made me wonder. I don't know. We're going to feel a splattering of things going on later. Ooh. Do I want leaves? Yeah, I think I do. It's hard when you're online because you can't read people's expressions and you certainly, my intent is never to offend or uh, my, my intent is just to draw and inspire you and call it a day and go in my merry way. Um, that's, that's my whole. Now let's, let's pick it up a notch and let's go on the fine part. Uh, and just continue to add. Yes, I go on the tape. The tape's going to go bye-bye, so you won't. All right. And it's just a piece of paper. If things all go to heck in a handbasket, um, it's a piece of paper. We'll recover. Uh, you know, not every page is a Monet, and... I'm sure Monet probably said not every page is a Van Gogh. You know, I I don't know what they said. All right. And now we need a couple of leaves because leaves make my heart happy. Let's just fill this bad boy up. What do you think? Like just not a ton of dead space in this. All right. Not a ton of dead space. Give the leaves some veins. This one will go. Okay. Well, I don't have to be. It's funny, sometimes I have to get in there and draw the veins right away, otherwise I think they're petals and I color them in, so. What do you think? We haven't really changed pens. All I'm doing is changing tips. Now, um, I don't, I, sometimes I list these on my favorites. I have a love-hate relationship with these, uh, where they double-side these um, Sharpies. My love-hate is this. It's super handy to have one pen, especially like if I'm on an airplane or I'm drawing or I'm in bed. And I usually wake up with one of these in my bed. Um, but um, I... I never have one side that wears the same as the other side. And I can't stand picking up a marker or a pen that I should have thrown away seven months ago. And I continue to put it back in my bag as if it's going to rejuvenate itself. It doesn't do it, people. 
throw it away, get rid of it, invest in a good pen, okay? And that's why these pens are here. Um, in fact, I need a new set of those. I have to order those. Um, I carry those on my website, but I haven't had them in a while because I've just been, I, I didn't want to invent, I don't like to inventory anything. Yeah, it's just a matter of that. Because um, as a mom and pop, I mean, as a mom shop. All right, now I'm loving it. But I'm bringing the watercolors back. I told you I'm going to stay within this family of watercolors. And I don't like to be fibbing. Wait a minute. I don't like to fib. So I'm going to not change the watercolors. These are them. Okay, the same set that I used. But my colors are out of order. So I don't know what this color is. I probably want this. This is like, some, I can read the colors, but I lost the little, oh, here it is. They're out of order. Oh, this is deep sea. Um, so, oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we're committed now. We're in it to win it, people. It's a gorgeous, like almost Prussian blue. It's, it's gorgeous. So I'm not, I'm filling in and I'm just going to keep gathering the paint from there. I'm filling in any of the space that just kind of did the Dead Sea space. Okay. That's a very dark blue. I wasn't prepared for that, but I could have gone really dark green, but I, I'm kind of loving it. I had a sincere deep to, uh, need to do laundry today, and I did like, I don't know. I don't know what my problem is, but I haven't committed to that, and I'm leaving. And I was going to be wearing dirty clothes if I was not careful. Ooh, we're liking the blue. I'm, I'm seeing a positive response to the blue. It's like midnight blue. Email. That better not be orders because I... <laughs> it'll ship tomorrow. I just won't go to sleep. And I'm, I promised myself I'd leave the house for five minutes and go get myself Rubio's. Okay, what do you think? Uh, see, just kind of go in. And I know I'm missing spots, right? Um, I kind of like that white in there. I'm not going to touch that. I like the non... Oops, I want to sharpen that, baby. Okay. Last night I painted something with pastel water, or not pastel, uh, with watercolor, um, what do you call it? Watercolor pencils, and it was so light. I was almost like, it was too light for me, but I, I loved it. Okay, we need that to dry. What time do we have? It's, uh, yeah, I want to splatter the heck out of this or something. Oh, right in there. We missed it. We missed the spot. Normally, somebody says you missed the spot. Okay. I wish my daughter was here. I could pay her to go run and get me dinner. Oh, my goodness. I love <laughs> You're so sweet. Feel free to mail that page to me. It's marvelous. Okay. You guys, I love the colors too. I love the set. Oh, you guys are so, I love this set. So pick out blues. You, you don't need, you can get a basic, you can mix colors, by the way. There's no shame in that game. You can mix colors. You don't have to have the palette. I don't really want to touch too much more of this. I'll give it a little bit. I was thinking about splattering some white on it. Just because I love a good splattering. Uh, where's my... You guys, I have not made a mess at... Oh, I know what I'll do. I haven't made a mess at all. So let me just get in here and start making a mess. Because that'll be fun. <laughs> I'm going to grab my Aquarellable pencil, which is a pencil. Because I said pencil 17 times. All right, I'm going to sharpen my pencil. 
All right. Uh, if you're looking for uh, resources, I do have a resources page where I do list things. Also, I do re I do list this on my blog with the video. So if you are looking for inspiration, head to my blog. I'll be able to inspire you. I hope. If I can't, well, I'm not your girl. And I'm okay with that. We're just, I'm just scribbling. Love me a good aquarella ball pencil. Okay. Oh, that's not going to go very far. See, this is where I love. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Let's get, let's bring this guy alive. What kind of flowers are these? Can somebody, I don't know. Don't, I'm not claiming, I know. I'm from Nevada. Happy New Year. Hi, from Nevada. Happy New Year to you, Mona. Thank you, Anne, for giving out that link. I um, appreciate that. Okay. Did we decide if I'm splattering the heck out of this? Um, and keep in mind, I have used one, well, two pens, if you say, but technically this my pens are all in one. I've used two Sharpies, a piece of paper, some painter's tape, and some watercolors. Okay. I'm good with whatever flower you tell me it is. I'm For a person who absolutely loves flowers, I mean, I do. Uh, there's, my heaven is a field of flowers. Also, uh, the Home Depot. I love Home Depot, and I love a good hardware store. So that's my idea of, look at this. We didn't even care about how this, see, I'm just going to go in there and fill that in. I didn't like that petally situation. It was not doing it for me. Okay, I'm going to finish this off by splattering something on this because I'll feel it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. All right. I know. I... You always bring out my creative juices. Oh, do I really? Thank you so much. Oh, hi, Jan Golden. Um, you know what? You guys do the same for me because if nobody showed up and we got a nice little, uh, I'd have no reason to do this, but I used to do it just for my parents. I used to say, come watch me paint, Dad. I have, do I have gold metallic to splatter? Sure. I wonder if I can splatter from a paint pen. We should try it. You know what? I'm, you know what's going to happen? A giant glob of paint is just going to go on there and it's going to chap my hide. No. I don't know if it'll show up, but I'm willing to do it. So you guys want, you guys get. Okay. Carrie said, thank you so much. This is exactly what I needed. Um, okay, I'm going to finish this off. Um, and remember, if you're a member of your Artful Journey, you can uh, always hit me up there. Uh, and uh, we'll have more information on your Artful Journey. I'm looking for gold paint. By the way, I'm going to ruin my, uh, let's see, I'm looking for my gold. Oh, I know where it is. I really wish I could do it right from this pen because I happen to love this pen, but it's probably not going to work. doesn't matter. I'm going to try it. Oh, it is. Yes. Okay, it is. Instead of grabbing out paint. Oh, Ooh, it smells good. Ooh, it smells really good. Ooh. I'm telling you. It's working. Done. Okay. That was it. That was all it needed. Okay. We're going to remove the tape. Remember, this is half the magic. This is why I do it. Okay. If I could stop tripping over this phone cord so I don't land on my noggin, that would be fabuloso. Pray for a clean scene. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like that gold paint. Thank you, Linda. Oh, Jan said she was trying to splatter from hers, too, but it didn't work. I love the smell of that pen. 
It reminds me of something from when I was a kid. Okay, here we go. Looky, Lou, and that, my friends, is what you do. And now I'm going to sign my artwork. So guess who has been signing her artwork? As if she wanted people to know. Where's my pen? Hold on, I lost my pen. I had one pen out, and it is sidetracked. Hold on. Did I put it away? Did it roll away? Well, I'll get another pen. I did this whole thing with one pen, but oh, maybe I put it in there. Okay, here is my name. I am super happy. I've sort of found a signature I like. Did somebody struggle with that? I've struggled with my signature and never thought I needed one, but now I'm kind of on board with having one. Okay.